Good evening guys, welcome to the grand finals of the 1v1 World at War Test Tournament and we're here to see the mighty Tedessa from Russia up against Hansi, the great Australian hope. Both players are extremely good at micro, Hansi more in a Hansi sense, being able to throw grenades very well and move his units around the map in an aggressive fashion, also in a positional fashion too. But well, Tedessa, mainly in a defensive sense, where he splits out his troops into unbelievably defensive positions, which are incredibly hard to root out. Hansi, going into the center with most of his regular, building his usual sandbag line, just in case he needs that in the future, even though there's lots of cover. He likes to build more for added support later on. And Tedessa's going to the eastern with one SMG. It looks like uh, the western point is going to be Taken by Tedessa first, Hansi's moving in with a few guys as well. Center, Tedessa's capping from the house. One sneaky guy from Hansi in the, behind that hut. Tedessa rooting him out. And Eastern Point, here comes the battle, 1v1. M1 Garand guy versus the MP40 guy. He's got a few more guys in backup for Hansi. So it should be quite an epic series versus with these two players. Hansi, unfortunately, has been practicing the last two weeks due to his work commitments. And the ping situation for these two players is quite even, as we do have a Mexican uh, Mexican East host, which is not as ideal, I guess. The most ideal situation to have for these two players, because they both have around 250 MS. And yeah, it's, it's even, is basically what I'm saying. Northern, sorry, spawn we have Tedessa doing another regular squad and wow, that was actually the shotgunners. Hansi went the shotgunners on the second buy. And lots of single SMGs as well going to the left from Tedessa. He's got the center west and is going to lose this point. Buckshot to the face. But now Tedessa is going to reinforce this point with a full regular. This is the problem with shotgunners. If you send them all alone, they may get outnumbered. One, sh two down. You can see him knocking them down. Uh, there's going to be too many now. There's a few guys ready to fire back. One miss and it's all over. Oh no, it, one, one has died at least. And as soon as he gets back up, he's going to get absolutely shot up by all that firepower. So it didn't go too well in the east and that leaves Hansi with zero flags. And that means death, three cap, the flag points will tick tremendously in Tedessa's favor. Unless Hansi can quickly take this, take this point back with this assault squad. Tedessa hiding one SMG behind the crates. Hansi microing his grenades over. That was just a mass grenade, not TC'd. And on the center mid, we have one guy left. Hansi is rooting out, did a bit of damage, taking out two guys. And wow, he does escape actually, this lucky bastard. Rupert Becker has escaped with his life and he may come back to fight with the reinforcements that Tedessa is providing. Assault Squad going to the west and an M20. Not a very early M20, three minutes in. I think the reasoning for the M20 for uh, Hansi is because the AT rifle of the Germans do struggle to penetrate the front hull of the M20. It can't pretty much. So just in case Tedessa does that, and he does it a lot in fact, buys the AT rifle as Germans to counter. And oh, there it is, wow, it's actually in good range though, and we'll take it out from the side, quite easy shot right now for the AT rifle. And this is going to decide the start game and put Hansi in an even worse position than he already is. Crew engine, this is definitely in range to take it out, it's only 47 range, and he just waltz straight into that trap, and maybe the 50 cal and the bazooka may go towards, go to Tedessa's army in fact as well. And that is not going to be very good for Hansi, as he has bought a very unorthodox buy. Interesting, maybe his time away <coughs> from practice has made him forget what to buy. Is, uh, this is not a, not a meta buy, and really, I can't see this making any effect, especially because he hasn't held any points, and plus the sniper is out for the Germans, and they can quite easily pick off the guys off this heavy MG. M... no, that's an M8. I thought it was an M3. An M8 call as well. One point is, one point is special. And choosing an interesting... interesting units, in fact. M8 may be good, but he needs infantry right now. He doesn't have any infantry support to really attack a flag. And as we speak, the Western Point has got some more reinforcements from Tedessa going across. And that's in danger once again. <coughs> Excuse me. Sniper already done its work, taking out the MG. M8 gonna target it though, can it do it? Oh, it's actually targeting the other 
other guy, which is okay, because that's an MG. He's taking out an MG, which is worth quite a bit of money. Sniper moved back into position for the Dessa. M8 uh, not firing back. MG has been crewed back by Hansi, and he can now waltz into the center, as the Dessa doesn't really have too much. But let's see how this goes. Hansi holding with just a few Assault Squad men. This is a full Assault Squad from Tedessa, plus more. Plus change, almost one and a half Assault Squads. Surrounding Hansi on the Western Point, and a three cap again, maybe on for Tedessa. Hansi must do something. This is quite quite uh, daunting to see for Hansi to see him losing at the start versus Germany, because Germany is the one that can't pressure. Germany is the one that usually gives up ground at the start. Uh, and has a better later game where USA should be able to outshoot and yeah, out kill Tedessa's infantry toe to toe. But now, in fact, Tedessa is out spamming USA. And yeah, just kill wise, just not being able to win at the moment, Hansi. His other assault squad, oh, this is regular squad, now coming into an ambush. Tedessa moving up his assault squad leader into position to ambush. Small guys coming with SMG, and here comes the STG 44. Bam, bam. Oh no, the one STG-44 takes out four guys, a few more guys remaining, MG of the BR kind, MG versus this STG-44, MG has no chance, look at another hit, the STG-44 just went on a rampage and takes out five people, including the MG in a shootout, regular squad again from Tedessa coming down to the center, sniper moved back into a more safer position, uh, MG is still crewed, and uh, Hansi has managed to get to the center point, whilst he lost the west, and it's actually decent. Once the MG has a position where it's guarding a point, it will prove somewhat uh, somewhat use, useful. And now it is uh, six minutes in the game, 31 to zero. Good lead from Tedessa. Sniper is coming up, back up to play on top of the hill. Onto the eastern point, we see a few Marines just waltzing into the fire of the 50 cal that Tedessa has picked up. Unfortunate from Hansi, and um, I think they may have picked up the bazooka as well, right over there. Was that the Faust? Yeah, that's the bazooka. So he picked up the bazooka as well inside the M20, and they may bite Hansi in the ass. But here's the Marines. The Marines are coming in to now take back the Western Point. Looks like they're doing okay. They've got more hit points than their normal troops, and able to withstand the firepower of the Assault Squad. Let's see how they go. Yeah. Yep. Looks like only one SMG left. So he should take that and maybe get back into the lead, but 2-2 uh, two to two by from Tedessa. Unfortunately, that 50 cal would have been handy. M3 from Hansi is waiting though, but has no luck. Tedessa coming for a charge. He's going to try to decrew the M3. M3 is trying to turn. It's going to be too late, perhaps. Hansi, oh, lucky bastard. M8 has actually taken out the wheel, but the 2-2 two two has decrewed the M3. Oh, what? The other wheel's taken, but the 2-2 two 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 has decrewed the M8. And that... Is still crewed by one German guy, and Tedessa is still in it. And it's in demobilized though, so it pretty much can't do anything. And it's immobilized in a very awkward position. It can only shoot in a certain angle, so it won't be able to shoot to the left, I think, because it's just going to be aiming at the ground. Um, regular squad from Hansi, what's it going to do? Take it out. He bought a Stuart. Mm, that's an interesting buy. Very interesting, especially at this stage of the game, because the croc is out in 30 minutes. Maybe you could have waited? Maybe? But perhaps uh, he does have enough uh, MP to still support infantry. So, could be a decent buy. He's going to take it to 2 or He can decrew it. He's decrewed it. Maybe he can crew it with his own man. Or will he destroy it? Not too sure. Well, that was pretty lucky too. He just uh, shot out Tedessa's crew, which captured that M3. Tedessa moving up his squads further up and has grenade range on that MMG. Eastern point. Uh, Hansi. Pushing up with a regular a 30 cal squad, one special point. Bit of firepower, and there's not too much guarding it at this stage. Let's see M1 Garan move up. Let's throw a few grenades over. So it's capping. A regular squad moving to the right, and he should be able to take that, no problem. Wow, this is a turnaround. It's, in fact, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. And he's lost, lost all the units, but he now is gaining the advantage in flag points. He's gonna. Get the Eastern, I think. MG of the 30 cal there. BRR as well. Has a lot of firepower, more sandbags on Hansi. And he should be able to hold and take the Eastern. That center Tedessa will be able to take. Sniper. And MG also repositioning. MG 34 of the Brandenburger kind. Sniper coming to this area. Very nice positioning by Tedessa. And he's going to try and make an impact to snipe the MGs guarding the Eastern point. 
And let's see what hand he's got. And it is a crock, the mighty Sherman crock, the standard play for USA. Coming to support, but really, there isn't much guarding it. Oh, Panzer Spouse from Tedessa. No. Lucky for Hansi, only supported by conscripts, which got instantly mowed down by the MG42 and MG34. There's too much firepower, conscripts not being able to withstand such such power. Croc staying up on this hill, but not really guarded by line, any line of sight. And that still can be proved. Stuart also supporting in the center, but a clear, a clear way for Brandenburgers to sneak in. Tedessa known for his good Brandenburger play and he's already started sneaking up towards the swarm between the west and the center point. Hansi pushing up in the center now with some conscripts. Won't last much long. Won't much last long. MG has already taken them all out. Stuart now being more aggressive and will be able to take out the MG. He's going to charge right in there. Does a good job. He's got a tank already, so perhaps this tank can be used as YOLO, which Hansi is going to do. And now potentially can flank to Death's positions, and he has a good shot, kills at the other MG, and has done a good job. Already taking out two MGs, which is highly valuable. If he takes it to Sniper, then I'd say that Stuart can go home with a medal. Oh no! SMG guy! Oh, it came back to bite Hansi! That was the M20 Bazooka taking out the Stuart, and that's the worst, being killed by your own units. Or your own weapons. Unfortunately, Uncle Sam has supplied the Germans with uh, ammunition to kill their own units. Regular squad now uh, coming from Dessa to get back the Eastern, but Hansi has managed to take the center somehow. Oh no! I just missed that. Brandenburger from Dessa, that same one we saw sneaking, has snuck in from the left to take out the croc from the side. And also a grenade onto the M8 will take it out, perhaps? It does! Oh, that Brandenburger is the hero of the match, and you can see it has reached 31 score, and is the top scorer of the entire match at the moment. 38 to 5. Uh, Hansi's really not looking good. 6-1 in vehicle kills. 91-67, not even, not even beating Tedessa in infantry battles, which USA should do outright. And it's not boding well at all. I don't know what can Hansi what Hansi can do. Look at the special points. Six special points from Tedessa. 300 MP. That's a pretty decent one. Hansi is doing quite well with just infantry to fight back the center. He's microing his way in with the grenades, pushing up. MG coming into a better position. And now Tedessa is going to lose the Eastern. But dangerously, that sniper will be able to slowly pick off all these troops. Perhaps Hansi can just run in there and charge. MG, for some reason, is running away so far. I'm not sure where it's going. But here's a 2 2 2 out, and the Panzer. Panzer Flamingo. Uh, two special pointer. And this is a great buy from Tedessa at the moment, especially because Handy hasn't got any counter. He's got an AT Bazooka coming. This is the elite AT infantry from Handy. He's a big spender right now, and really not, uh, not the best unit to have right now versus the 2 2 and the Flamingo. Uh, though there's no line of sight at the moment for that 2 2 2 to fight. Oh, spoke too soon. And there goes two rangers. Oh, what happened there? Sorry. Flamingo has done such a great job. It was a perfect timing by Tendessa. Knowing Hansi has just lost all his AT weaponry, came straight down, flanked everything, and that was just a nice buy for the right time. <laughs> Western Point. Uh, is what? All the flags are Hansi's flags. <laughs> this is a turnaround. Okay, well, I dare say Tedessa will come back quite quickly with the 2 2 and Flamingo and no counter in sight for Hansi. If we go to Hansi's. Wow. Hansi has no MP, no SP, and there's a 2 2 and Flamingo out. So he can't do anything versus them unless he gets a lucky bazooka shot on it or banks. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. He bought an M3. So that's got... He's got the weaponry, actually, to take those two out. Uh, no, I know Tedessa does have four special points. Pretty sure he still... Yep, he does. And a decent amount of MP. So that M3 can be counted outright if Tedessa wishes to get uh, some weaponry. But doesn't matter. Tedessa with Brandenburgers. Handy's just... Pr just pretty much doesn't have MP to fill in the infantry gaps on the map. You can see the entire eastern flank 
is sparse. There's nothing there from Hansi. Absolutely nothing. And all he can afford now is conscripts to try hold the center point. Tedessa moving into the sandbags. And it's how his own sandbags are being used against him. That's my opinion about sandbags is that yeah, you just <laughs> the enemy can just take advantage of it. Um, I guess if you hold them well, they're good. Sniper. Where's it shooting from? Not too sure. Now we have the Flamingo coming in again. The M3 is down. And again, nothing to take it out. is just going to go rampaging. And another M3 has to be bought by Hansi to do something about it. There is no other option. And yeah, it just had, had to be done. But he doesn't have enough infantry to really guard it. And it's going more <laughs> crazy, taking out everything on the left. M3 for a shot, takes it out, tracks it. Very nice by Hansi. And still very, very low on infantry all around the map. Um, how is he going to come back to this? I do not know, especially look at the, uh, cause look at the resources of Tedessa. He can buy his ass out of anything and that's if Hansi can even get a point, which I can't see happening. But his AP sniper the MD42, this is a good, a good thing to do. This is probably what he needs to do right now. Just AP snipe all the infantry and then somehow take the sniper out with it as well. These are just conscripts though. M Flamingo is down. Uh, look at all that. Tedessa's troops split up so well behind the sandbags in different positions. Those assault squads in the open are just going to get outshot. Hansi trying to AP snipe again. Even the SMVs, that's probably the only thing he can use to DC. Shotgun troopers between the west and center coming in. See him coming into flank with a few grenades. Getting a bit handsy now, he needs to get handsy. Tadessa DC'ing that SMG, that was crazy. What the hell was that? M3 HE shell to the face, that was interesting. Still trying to AP snipe, regular squad in the Brandenburger squad in the background from Tadessa. Just upping the infantry, he can't afford it, and Hansi just has to keep fighting with low tier. He's uh, spending a bit big now with the regular, it's probably all he has now. Yep, back to 25 MP, just ticking up, uh, I guess relatively fast. I suppose it's relatively early in the resource game, it's 25 minutes when the resources stop and he has to rely on the payback MP. 2.1, 2.2, I think it's a 2.5. So I guess he's still early, so perhaps he can come back with buys if he plays it right. But somehow needs to win the infantry battles and I think the M3 will be... Oh no, Tedessa, so good, lying in wait there. Proned his uh, rifleman, threw a grenade over to that sandbag. That must have been at maximum range, taking out the MG. Ah, oh, just so hard right now to advance. AP sniping with the M3 is his only hope at this stage and he's doing okay, taking out a few guys. Needs to find the priority targets though, which is the MG34, the sniper right here. Still waiting on reinforcements, at least though, the western point is guarded. Seems like the marines have done very well. The same marines that took it before are still holding it and are holding strong. Hell of a shot with the Johnson LMG from the marines. Tedessa, wow, look, the firepower isn't very good in the center for Hansi. He just waltz, waltzes in and nearly takes out that M3. Shotgun is moving in. Fortunately, they're just going to get shot up. Hurt the power. Sniper over here as well will support and pick off any of these troops later on. M3 needs to focus fire on the MG. Strong to take it. Strong to hit it. Still going. How many times until Tedessa notices? He does notice and runs away. And now, the sniper perhaps this should be his target. He needs to take the sniper now. It's just gonna slowly do damage. There isn't anything to kill it other than this M3. This is gonna die, this is going to die. And another regular squad coming from Dedessa. And he still does have two special points, I believe. Regular squad from Hansi. So, uh, interesting to see that both these players mm, chose default nations because, especially because the map pool, sorry, the map pool, yeah, the map pool and also the nation pool has been re reset for the grand final, so they can choose anything they want. And they decided to choose Germany and USA. So it goes to show that, uh, yeah, some certain nations aren't 
um, considered OP by these two awesome players. They still think Germany and USA do have a great chance of winning. We saw Hansi chose USA versus Pringles in the International uh, 2, where he lost on Lumber. And this is probably going to be deja vu for him, in my opinion. Deja vu losing on Lumber again, but uh, in my opinion, it wasn't really a close battle. The whole game, Tedessa has been in control in every situation. Some decent attacking. Oh no, MG42. So good in defense of charges. Had just mowed down four guys. One more shot on the left. Can you flank that MG42? Yes, sir. M3 should probably be used to AP snipe that instead of that. Uh, instead of all these units trying to flank it. Never mind. Shotgun out using DC. Oh, buckshot, buckshot. That only takes him down to a little bit of health, and he's going to heal back in this behind the cover of the stone wall. Unlucky, unlucky. M3. Still not targeting the sniper. Don't know why. Maybe he doesn't see it, but here comes Tedessa with an SMG. AP grenade. Oh. Boom. Next one. Will it take it? It's a bit far. I don't think so. Oh, that was close. Oh, it has actually taken it out. It's destroyed. It's all over for that M3, and Hansi's only got this Maxim quad AA. Why did he buy that? It's, again, one of those units where... It's good to hold a flag you already hold in a cheap way. Uh, to, to assault a point, no, look at it. It's just going to slowly pin people down, and that's pretty much it. And it's uh, going to get shot. Ooh, no, it's okay. Once the guy's in there, it's not easy to kill. MG from the tanker. Sniper still alive, unfortunately. 73 to 35, bit of time and another Brandenburger has gotten through from Tedessa. Flamethrower, what's that? It's description stuff, flamethrower hand. What has he got in his hand? Must be some sort of dynamite. Ah, oh, it's dynamite, of course. Boom! <sighs> Goodbye, MX. <laughs> and still actually not being targeted. It's just, he's got, he's got nothing. He's not even using these guys, doesn't care. Regular squad coming in, not even trying to find this guy. He's going back. So I just want to note as well when you're watching these guys, uh, they're probably not playing the optimal micro and the optimal movement because they're playing at 250 ms, which is decently laggy, but it's fair because both players do have it. So if they don't move the right way or for some reason or they're a bit slow, it's because of that, not because of their skills. Also because they, I guess they haven't been practicing too much. Anyway, uh, Sniper is still alive. The two main targets just uh, can't be counted. And what do we have here? Ah, Commander. <laughs> Tedessa's bought a Commander. One Special Point Commander. Uh, kind of late, I guess. I don't know why we would need it right now. I guess he had one Special Point left. Perhaps he should have bought a Sniper. Oh, why not, I guess. He's going to have... Sight over Spore now. Can I switch the Fog of War back on? I'm not sure if this will work. I'm pretty sure it won't. Did they fix it? Ah, uh, did they? Untick. Yeah, they did too. Okay. So you can see Hans has got full sight over here. Sorry. So this has got full sight over here with the Commander. Untick. It's the same. So you can see everything that Hansi will spawn. And, wow, Pff, slaughter. Complete slaughter. That Stuart did very well um, for... Yeah, just did very well. Bofors. And Tedessa still has one special point and 700 MP. Can even get a Panzer H if he wants to. Uh, this is a decent buy, I suppose. Hmm, it can take out all the infantry here. Just takes a while. It does have a slowish kind of shot. Uh, the problem is it can be countered by anything Tedessa wants to buy. He can buy anything he wants. As, as, unless Hansi gets really lucky as the tank rolls to the rolls down the roadway he can may get a silly shot on the track and then when it's moving it may get tracked and then 
expose its side in a very strange way. But here comes the Bofus, gonna do make its impact, needs to make the impact on killing the sniper. And then once it does that, takes out the MG, Hansi can move into the center point. <laughs> I suppose I am relying on the stars to align pretty much for everything to go right for Hansi to for this all to happen. At least now he gets this flag, but here comes the Panda 3, the cheap counter from Tedessa, and this is all going to matter the track. Oh, no track, and Tedessa stationary. If he gets track stationary, it doesn't matter, because it will never expose its side, and the Bofus has been decrewed. And Tedessa now will finish it off with that P3. For some reason, not targeting it, using the infantry first to take out the guys capping. And it uh, will take it out shortly. Bit of a reprieve for Handy though. Just decreeing the center point. Last a bit longer, 94 to 35. He's trying hard, not giving up. Some more Brandenburgers in the backfield from Tedessa. And yeah, I, th I think Handy just got out. What, I'm not out bought? Out, what, what happened there? Uh, oh, what's this flank? This is the Marines. The Marines have been holding strong in the Midwest have been forced into combat now because they're, they're so direly needed in the center needs everything he can every unit he can muster to get the flag back and that's his most powerful but some of them are even out of ammunition Machine got another? is that the, another heavy MG from Hansi? I don't know why he's buying these suppression units when he doesn't need a suppression force Both is going to cap yeah I think he was just outbought but pretty much I'm going to be quite simple with this. Uh, well, what the? P3 has taken out, has been taken out on the side by the Bofus. How did it turn inside? Why did it turn inside? And why didn't it kill the Bofus? Must have been an accident there or a bit of lag. And this opens it up for Hansi. Hans could potentially get the center point. Can he do it? There's not much guarding it. The sniper, I think, has been taken out as well. I didn't see that. Hansi waltzing into the center now. Three points to go for Tedessa. He needs to get it right now if he wants to stay into the game. Oh no, MG, this one MG, take it out with the Bofors, oh that Tanku guy, it doesn't matter, oh this, it's an MG too, oh no, if Hansi, Hansi just took out that MG, he would have had it, that's a GG, well done to Tedessa, who holds comfortably in the first game, I think that was easily Tedessa's game throughout, Hansi did have a few chances, but things could have gone right, he would have uh, may may have uh, come back into this game but I'll be quite simple here I think the main reason is the Brandenburgers there's such game changes if if put into the right position if not not respected by Hansi as those Brandenburgers took out the croc took out all his emplacements and quite frankly won the game well done to Tedessa strong very very strong best out of three I'll see you into the next match